This is a black onion, and we're doing a kind of a, a video here of what would happen if Corky never met Tim. Now, there's there's Corky's version, and we know Corky lives in a place um, I would call not reality. Even if Tim had never shown up, Corky would still be Corky. So, where he ends up, if he hadn't met Tim... I'll uh, indulge what I think we would hit end up, but let, we'll do what Corky thinks. What Corky thinks we, he would end up. I was a good guy. He's the good guy. I was a hero. He's a in hero. This story. In what do story? Do you understand? I don't know. Do you understand? I don't understand. I'm the closest thing you'll ever come to a superhero in real life. Or at least no, that's not real life, Corky. I'm sorry about your luck. Um, but let's look at, let's indulge Corky. See, this is Corky. He's a real life superhero. The closest thing to a superhero you'll ever meet. Can you see Corky in the Avengers? There he is. Which one is Corky? Which Avenger is Corky? You let me know in the comment section below. About the definition Corky, of the word. Corky, the stand-up comedian. probably not even a real person. Come on, Corky, make us laugh. Come Wasted on. Wasted 45 fucking minutes of my life. Oh. It's already That's Friday. That's not very funny. You're going to be a stand-up comedian? I'm like stumbling around going, what the fuck? Yesterday, it's, I thought yesterday was Tuesday. <laughs> February's damn near over. Not only was Corky a, would be a successful stand-up comedian, but he'd also be an actor. An actor in movies. And Corky will do comedy duos with Will Ferrell. Yes. In, an, in the redone version of Step Brothers. With Corky, he's a natural man-child. This should be a natural... Uh, movie for old Corkster. Corky will reprise Steve Carell's uh, fine job in 40-Year-Old Virgin by coming out with 40-Year-Old Virgin 2, starring Nick Bravo. And here's Nick Bravo's car that he paid for with real money that he earned and not money that he stole from Eleanor Murphy. No! His acting and stand-up comedian roles gave him plenty of money. And what about his house? Not only is he a stand-up comedian, an author of self-help books, and a movie actor, he's also a real estate mogul. And he's living right in Malibu, California, IA. And he could see the ocean from all of his back patios. Now that would be, that's what Nick thinks. If the trolls hadn't made videos about him, if he hadn't met Tim, that's where Nick thinks he would be because he deserves that. Because, you know, he's so enlightened and so much better than everybody else. He should be in that, right? But he's not. And it's you and my, me's fault. It's not his fault that he doesn't live that life. That he's in movies and stand-up comedian and drives a white Mustang and lives in this, you know, godforsaken how much money that fucking is house that overlooks the ocean, the Pacific Ocean of all oceans. That's right. But he's not. Now, here's what I think Nick would be. If he hadn't have met Tim, he probably wouldn't be in Nebraska right now. So let's just take a gander what the Black Onion thinks Nick will be, would have been, or would would he be right now if it hadn't been for his current criminal activity? Well, unfortunately for Nick, he wouldn't have a white Mustang. 
I guess you could call this a convertible. It's self-powered, um, and it even has a way of income added to the vehicle. So, you know, and it doesn't have to put no gas in it. He can take his aluminum cans down to the recycle center and get some change and maybe get some box wine. But uh, this is what he'd be driving, not a Mustang. And this would be Nick's home. You know, it ain't much, but at least it's home. Right, Nick? This is where he'd be living. But the good thing about it, he's got a view of downtown and liquor stores only a few steps away. I mean, this is not a bad place for Nick. I mean, this is probably living up a little better than he's had a few times in his life. But yeah, this is where Nick would be living instead of that million dollar home. If he hadn't met Tim. Because the biggest problem with Nick is that no matter what happens, he's still Nick Bravo. Ryan Finster, Nicholas Bravo, Spike Bravo. He's still the same guy. He still doesn't listen to anybody. He knows everything. And I hope those tents have enough room for all his books. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's how he shows how smart he is. Not that he understands what's in the books, but as long as he has them, it counts. You know, as long as he reads them, even though he doesn't understand what he's reading, he can use words like Calvinism and make himself sound smart, even though he doesn't know what Calvinism means. So that's Nick Bravo. That That's what I think Nick Bravo would end up. And, and the other, you know, is what Nick Bravo thinks he'd end up. Who do you think? Who do you think is more on key to what would happen? What would have happened if Nick Bravo hadn't met Tim? I say because he met Tim and got in trouble, went to jail, and had to go back to Nebraska. That he's actually doing better for himself if he hadn't, unless he stayed. Then if he stayed in California, you know what's happened in the big cities in California? Crime is just out through the roof. Homelessness. Uh, California. All the businesses are moving out of California. So, you know, California dream is not what it used to be. Maybe California will bounce back. Who knows? But, uh, you know, all the movies are being made in Atlanta now. And other cities, New York City and Atlanta are attracting all the movies. And they're not doing a lot in California because they had to get too many permits to bo do movies in California. They still do some because all the studios are still there. But, you know, and Nick Bravo wouldn't be living the life he thinks he'd be living. So I think he's doing better than if if he hadn't gotten in trouble. He'd be homeless somewhere, maybe even dead, because a lot of those homeless people, man, their life expectancy is not a lot great. We do have a homeless problem in this country, and I'm not trying to make light of that. It's not funny, uh, but it's reality. <laughs>